Hi everybody, uh, Warden here. Um, just doing a quick little update here. It's after work. It's late at night, so I just turned the tanks uh, lights on briefly here for a bit. So explain uh, kind of what's going on with uh, my saltwater tank here. Now I've had this up and running probably for about a month now, just over a month. And uh, I've gone through the ups and downs and, you know, hitting your head on things when you're trying to figure stuff out and trying to learn this hobby. So I now have all the fish that I want to have in here. I've got six fish all together. I've got two clowns, a yellow tang, um, a white uh, striped blenny, and a firefish, and a blue-green chromis. I just, uh, you're probably not going to see anybody in here right now because I just turned the lights on just to make this video briefly here. I've tried to make up uh, a couple other videos, but uh, I just found them to be too long and I kind of keep running off topic all the time with the things that I'm doing. So, in one of my previous videos, I said I was going to continue to use tap water, so I've been using tap water for about a month now. Um, I'm on top of my filters. The water parameters are all good with, uh, you know, I'm still have, dealing with high nitrate, uh, kind of nitrates. We're getting algae blooms and stuff. I really don't have diatom blooms anymore, just uh, just algae. It's not too bad. I notice it uh, gets less and less with every water change, but I went and bought an RODI system because... Uh, you know, I've just been doing my homework. Everybody says RODI. It's uh, less things in the water. And it takes all those nuisance things out of the equation when it comes to things like algae issues and stuff. Like I said, I've been able to keep this tank clean. Um, the filters are clean. I clean the filter pads out of both filters. I've got two canister filters running in here. Um, I'm actually running Marine Pier in both of them now. I have... Uh, lots of biological media in this one so there's enough biological media for all the inhabitants of this there's also uh, marine pier in the other in my fluval 406 so I'm running a 406 and I'm running an aquatop uh, CF 500 UV it's got the UV light built into it so if I do have any issues with anything then uh, or cloudy issues or water issues UV light might help I was told not to run it, if I do run it, not to run it long, so I actually haven't really used it at all in the tank, I just keep the UV light off. But I have been playing around with things, uh, I had it in my head that I had a little, not enough flow in this tank, so I went out and got that CJ Voyager 3, and it ended up adding up too much flow in my tank. Now I have flow coming from this side out of there, I have that flow found there that I had in my last 66 gallon tank which is just enough to blow across here and down into this empty space here. Um, my toadstool actually is doing really good, my hammer does really good, everybody's asleep right now, like I said I just turned the lights on so you know everybody in here is probably not too happy with me. My zoas are still folded up, they're probably going to open up here in a couple minutes. Uh, my green star polyps pulled in. They were sleeping, now they're going to wake up. Um, one thing I've done here is uh, this flow fan fell off here and blew directly on top of my frog spawn. So it's actually retracted in and I have a feeling it's gone. Um, before what I was, I knew what I was doing with my A cans, I wasn't really feeding them. So I started feeding them refroids. I'm trying to actually bring it back. Um, it's mostly skeleton. My brain coral's been doing okay. Um, it's got its little feelers out there right now. Little stinger tentacles are, are actually, I've never seen them out that much. I don't know if you can see it, but they're out there. One of them's at least an inch long. So, everybody kind of has their space, so you know, if anybody does sting at night time, they can't really hurt anyone else. Like I said, my zoas have been doing really good. I have uh, a red chalice coral in here, green star polyps, hammer coral, about six fish. 
so I'm kind of going low and slow. Maybe uh, every Saturday I go to the local fish store and I'll put one or two inhabitants in here, whether it be a coral or a fish. And uh, then I do a nice three bucket water change and it's three five gallon pails. I have it over here in this corner. There's my pail over there. And that's what I've been doing for water changes every Saturday. But, like I said, I constantly have this algae that comes back, and I notice it comes back fairly quick throughout the week. I'm starting to see it fog up on the on the side of the glass here, and there's some back there. I actually leave it in here for my Blenny, because he loves to keep this tank clean. I do have other cleaners in here. There's hermit crabs and snails, but uh, the Blenny's been the best so far. and keeps everything pretty much clean, keeps the substrate clean keeps everything clean and uh, you know it's it's I've been able to handle the cleanup on the weekends on Saturday so it's not a big deal um, I changed out my uh, regular fluvolactinic blue bulbs that I bought and I went with ATI bulbs so I'm running a purple plus and a blue plus and uh, like I said when I added too much flow to the tank I kind of pissed off a couple of my corals so I've actually shut that off now and put everything back the way it was when everybody was happy. So, other than them starting to wake up now, everybody seems pretty good. Like I said, except for uh, my frog spawn coral, which is pretty much pulled in and uh, I figure it's dead now. It's just skeleton. So, I screwed up there with too much flow. I figured I needed flow. I kind of went a little on the gun with that one. And, uh,. That's my first mistake I made was introducing too much flow to the tank. So yeah, my yellow tank's coming out here now. Probably wants me to turn off the light. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this short. I'm keeping up with everything. Water parameters seem to be okay. I'm keeping everything in within the normal uh, normal ranges. Like I said, nitrate, ammonia nitrate, and nitrites. Uh, they're not too high. There's still a bit up there. So I'm hoping uh, with the addition of Marine Pier into the canister filter, and like I said, I, I change out the filter pads. I just buy uh, lots of lots of filter pad because it's cheap, and I cut them up for for uh, to fit the filter. And I've actually changed them out uh, twice now on startup. When I had a lot of dust in here, the 406 caught most of that because it was the only one running. And uh, when I open up my other canister filters. They're fairly clean on the inside. There's not any muck or schmutz or any any buildup in there. Like I said, I cleaned everything before I set everything up, so everything's relatively clean. Um, the one issue I think that's adding to uh, a little bit of an algae headache is the tap water, and I might have been a little little cheeky in my first video about this, saying that I'm going to go tap water, and you know what? This is an investment. You end up spending a lot of money on everything, and I spent a lot of money on this tank so far. And you know what? Just to uh, get rid of some of the other issues, I'm going RODI. I actually have another video that I made today. I opened up my RODI system. It came uh, from UPS. I bought it from BRS Hobby. It's a five stage. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hook that up and give that a go. I gotta set it up and run it. it says you gotta run it for an hour, and I have to test my uh, my tap pressure to see if I can put out the 40 to 50 psi, or it says 50 to 60 on the unit itself to run it. I might have to get a booster, so I gotta set that up. I actually have a day off here on Thursday, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go full tilt on that, and that's my next little project to do for this tank is get my RODI water system set up so that I can do better water changes and I'm going to start changing out. Probably going to do maybe a 50% on this when I do it with RODI water and then I'll do another 50 after that. I don't know. We'll see. I might even go even slower than that. I don't really don't want to upset my fish too much here. My fish are doing really good. I don't have any issues with that. Um, my hammers do good. My toadstool coral is doing good. My chalice coral and uh, my zoas. I bought it with like two, two and a half little heads on it. It's got a bunch on there now. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight heads on it now. So it's actually starting to grow. So I can't be doing too, too bad in here. And everybody else seems to be 
be good. Nothing's really died in here except for hermit crabs. They, uh, I've had a few kill each other in here. Other than that, everything's been okay. Um, lots of flow coming from this side out of there. This tank is drilled, so I can do a sump. I do not want to do a sump right now. I'm still, still thinking on sump. Um, I like my canisters because they're they're an enclosed system. I don't have to worry about something failing and and water spilling all over the place at the moment. I am in the basement. It's not a big deal. It's uh, we got really old school floor tile down here, so it wouldn't damage anything. The old carpet's out of here. There is a drain in the floor and the, and the laundry room. Eventually the water would go in there, and I do have a shop vac sitting right here by my drums, just in case things happen, things are ready to go. I've got uh, all my buckets and equipment and mixing equipment over there for my salt. And uh, everything seems to be going okay at the moment. Like I said, uh, I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot better success with everything in the tank when I switch to the RODI water. And hopefully we can lick up some of this, this algae issue here. And then, uh, you know, we'll see what happens after that. And then uh, if I still keep having other issues, then uh, we may go sump later. But like I said, I don't feel like running a sump right now. I'm not running a protein skimmer at the moment. I do have one. I do own one, actually. So I have a hang-on-back one that I bought. It's in the eShops. Uh, it's rated for, I think, anywhere from 70 to 100 gallon. Because of the tap water, I keep getting the frothing and over foaming. Um, and because I have to dechlorinate the tap water, I think that's my issue with it. Um, people said try it in a bucket of just regular salt water, you know, that you don't mix a dechlorinator with, and it runs just fine on a bucket for I don't know how many days. I can leave it run forever, and it'll actually start skimming off the bucket. But uh, when I put it up to the tank, it just froths over and it overflows and it spills everywhere and it's just been kind of pissing me off at the moment so I'm not running it so when I get the RODI water in here and I can actually get the skimmer to run you know without any issue then I think uh, things will do a lot better in here and uh, I'll probably have a lot less issues like I said this is a learning curve and uh, I'm hard-headed and I have to learn the hard way even though that a lot of people are on YouTube willing to help and you know I'll watch a lot of videos and from people that are way better than the, you know at this hobby than I am um, for me I've been able to get away with things in the past the do's and don'ts of well, I guess planet tanks and stuff and uh, you know I'm kinda cheeky that way I kinda figured I could get away doing my own thing on here but you know you have to live and learn and uh, that's kind of where I'm at with this right now. Everything's looking fine, like I said. Just a little scrub-a-dub-dub -dub on the glass. It's not really bad. Every week, like, you couldn't even see in here when I first set it up. After the first week, the diatom bloom was crazy. Um, I've had some algae. I don't really have any hair algae or any kind of really super pest algae, except for there's a little bit of, you know, some green stuff and everything on the back. That cleans up really easy it's really easy to take care of and like I said my blenny I like keeping it some of it on the back anyway for my blenny to eat he's actually kept these rocks really clean they were so brown when the diatom balloon came out I put them in the tank and he's eaten everything off there crabs snails uh, don't even come close to my blenny my blenny totally keeps everything super super clean and uh, I'm always worried that I won't be able to grow uh, coralline algae on here because he keeps everything so clean. I actually have a shell with coralline algae on there for one of the hermit crabs and I can see it encrusting the shell and then it was a little purple spot and now it's almost taken over the whole shell so I glued that shell to the rock and I just want that to spread onto the rock and start encrusting everything after. That's what I'm going to try to do. I would like to see all this turn purple with coralline algae and you know the purple and the green and I don't know what kind of algae that is up there doesn't seem to be spreading quick or anything it's kind of adding color and a little bit of character to the tank um, like I said the stuff on the glass I just clean off and my fish eat it up and uh, yeah that's about it so uh, I tried making a couple of videos I just I'm so excited about everything I just keep getting on top off topic with everything 
I run from one topic to another without explaining what I was doing before because uh, I'm trying to get everything that I've been trying to do explained. And uh, when I'm on camera here too, it's every time I make a video, I'm always nervous making it. I always have a hard time breathing when I'm doing it. You know, I'm always self-conscious of, you know, can everybody hear me breathing really heavy? It feels like I'm out of breath all the time when I'm trying to explain everything to everybody. So, you know, I try to do my best. I got my little GoPro here that I've had lots of problems with too. It's a Hero 5. I bought it and it seems to lock up on me all the time and it gives me hell trying to get videos off of it. So, I'm going to do this one and upload it tonight. We'll see. We'll go from there. But I do have a video from today my unboxing of my RODI so I'm going to throw that up on my channel too uh, I have it now and I'll be getting it set up on Thursday or at least I'll start on it and uh, we'll be going from there maybe next Saturday I'll have an update and this tank will look a lot cleaner actually and I'll be able to have some RODI water in here for my first water change with RODI water so wish me luck people and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thanks for coming out and watching Coordinator out catch you later